Hello, welcome to my Mars Overlay series. Today's video is going to be covering Mars Overlay in the first house, and also what happens when someone's Mars is conjunct another person's ascendant. If you don't already know what an overlay is, it's when you take two birth charts and layer them over each other to analyze the relationship. There are angles that planets make to each other called aspects, and there appear to be planets matching up with the partner's other houses. This is the overlay. Though a planet means one thing to a person when they are born, the overlays and aspects color how the specific partner or other party then experience that planet or that specific part of the person's personality. Mars represents action and motivation. It's force, heat, raw energy, and in its best expression, it's protective. At its worst, it's vicious and violent. Where Mars is present in the chart shows where one expresses their anger, is more motivated, and what part of life is more competitive. Mars also shows how much masculine energy someone has. The first house represents identity, appearance, physical form, and mannerisms, or any other way that you present yourself to the world. It's the house concerned with your own existence. Any planets that fall here at birth are worn on the individual's sleeve. When Mars falls into the first house by overlay with a partner, there's an extra jolt of attraction on the physical level. The Mars person takes action in ways that the house person instinctively understands and prefers. Mars can be motivating and a driving force in healthy ways such as a light, playful competition and encouragement for exercise or getting things done. It's possible that the house person even inspires Mars to protect and defend them. But it's not an easy planet, so where there can be something playful or constructive, it can also easily become destructive, leading to fights, annoyance, and even feelings of inadequacy for the house person. Mars typically doesn't do this on purpose, but the house person can still end up feeling like they either love or hate Mars. If the house person has more Aries, Scorpio, or strong Mars energy, they'll probably appreciate this overlay more. Also, the more emotionally mature both individuals grow, the less this placement is bothersome. When Mars is conjunct the Ascendant, it just intensifies the positive or the negative. Either there are more fights or there's more action taken. Either way, it helps to have good communication and space to cool down during or after fights. It's like a sucker punch to the chart of the house person. The planet person won't be ignored or forgotten. That's all for Mars in the first house. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Comment below if you've experienced this with someone, and thank you so much for watching.